Hi guys, hope you all are doing good. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today in this video, I am gonna share with you the details for the construction of wing wall, apron, and the retaining wall. So here you can see that the iron bars have been placed for the wing wall, retaining wall, apron, and the head wall. Here on the left side you can see that the iron bars have been placed for the wing wall. It is going to have a length of 3 meters while the other wing wall is going to have a length or projection of 1.2 meters. So guys you can see that we have poured concrete into the base of our retaining wall and the apron. Now here you can see that we are going to have the outlet of our culvert. Here you can see that the iron bender is working and he is placing the reinforcement bars for the retaining wall. The retaining wall is connected with the two culverts. When the water will come out from the right side, it will go to the left side. Then it will flow out from the outlet of the other culvert. So guys, here you can see that the iron band is working and the retaining wall is being constructed. You can see that for this retaining wall we maintain a height of 90 centimeters. We are having a projection of almost 50 centimeter on the left side of our this retaining wall while we are having a small projection of almost 15 centimeters on the right side for the base of this retaining wall. On the right side, you can see we are having the wing wall. It has a total length of 2.5 meters, while the other wing wall was having a length of 1.5 meters. Here you can see that we are having another culvert. When the water will flow out from the other culvert, it will enter the inlet of this culvert. Guys, here we have also provided a slope of almost 14 centimeters. You have to make sure that you always provide a slope so that the water may flow out. Here you can see that we are doing curing for our wing walls. For the retaining wall, you can also see that we have placed the foam work. The total length of this retaining wall is almost 9 meters. Later on, once we are done with the construction, we shall do the backfilling of let right. Here you can see that we are pouring concrete into the base. And this base is connecting these two aprons of our two culverts. So guys, here you can see that the casting of concrete has been done into the base as well as the retaining wall. On the right side, we are going to have a drainage which will be connected with this culvert so that the water may flow out. So guys, this is it for today. I hope you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Until my next video, goodbye.